Right Network. Mobilizing, countering the left, energizing the right. New Right Network, home of the New Right Movement. Breaking news, in case you didn't know, we've got a copycat possible shooter going to another Walmart with uh, body armor. Why? Because of videos and people like this. We need to kill all men. I am sick of being a baby factory that produces more men that will just, in the future, subjugate me. So the only answer to that is to kill male babies and um, just kill any man that you see, like in the streets, like any swinging dick, just kill Kenny him. Kenny McDermott, because YouTube fame sensation, I guess, calling for uh, the, the, the murder of all men. Completely unhinged feminist, psycho, nuts, needs some uh, mental uh, assistance, needs some help. I tell you what, I'm not making fun of Jenny McDermott. Uh, I really do believe that she's probably a, a, a victim of rape or violence of some sort. A completely uh, gaslit, uh, completely uh, propagandized into thinking uh, by feminism, into thinking that that men, all what men should be murdered. The insanity ensues. So what happened at the uh, local Walmart in Springfield, Missouri? Yes, a kid triggered, goes to Walmart, 100 rounds of ammo, handgun, rifle, body armor, gets to Walmart. Spoiler alert. Yeah, you're not going to hear this on the 6 o'clock news. He was stopped by who? Off-duty firefighter with a concealed weapon. That's what we need, guys. We need more good people with guns to stop the bad people with guns. Cops just show up to the scene when it's all over with. They don't actually stop the shooters. Good evening, everyone. You're listening to New Right Network tonight's original series, Smith TV. Your host, Brian Smith. Giving you the breaking news of the day, wrapping it all up, making sense of it, exposing the fake news media, exposing the Democrat Party, and giving you the real news every single night, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. And we've got some breaking news today. Uh, armed man with rifle, handgun, 100 rounds of ammo, body armor, stopped and arrested by firefighter outside Springfield, Missouri, Walmart. Yes, folks, that's what we need. More good citizens, more NRA members, because not, not one single NRA member has gone on a shooting spree. It, it just doesn't happen because they're good people stopping bad people. Cops show up after the fight is, uh, has happened, after the shooting has happened. Cops cannot, cannot possibly be there uh, before the rape happens. Cannot possibly be there before the murder happens. Cops cannot be there before the crime happens. So what do we do? We arm ourselves. Uh, take some lessons. Go to the local gun range. Uh, enroll in lessons. Enroll in concealed carry weapon program. Get yourself some. I mean, if you're really that nervous about guns, get you a small 22. If you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> Just uh, type in small .22 gun. And you get a nice small little 22. That, that, that would kill somebody. That will stop uh, an intruder. That will stop somebody. And for those of you saying, oh, Brian, you need a 38, a 9 millimeter, 45. You need... No, no, no. Come on, guys. Calm down. Calm down. A nice little 22 will do the works. It'll go in, and it won't come out. And it does a lot of damage when it's inside there. It's a fact, guys. It's a fact. So anyways, uh, not to get too far off subject. But yes, it was stopped. We also have a situation, a false flag possibility. I'll give you my opinion on what happened. Armed man driving a Trump truck arrested. What? Cruz blasted on the back window of his truck. Trump and Trump plastered on the back of the tailgate. We've got the pictures. I'll give you what's going on. Spoiler alert. That's not what you think when we get through all of it. Uh, DNC, mental insanity on display. White supremacy, they're not letting it go. Baltimore updates, Hollywood updates, and the propaganda at the end of the show, which actually turns out to be good for us because propaganda CNN taking another hit. And this this time, this is a good one, and, and I'm really excited about it. Capitalism stepping in to crush propaganda, to crush uh, uh, the monopolies of the world. Thank you so much to capitalism for making things right. 
And as we started at the top of the show, again, I was telling you guys, uh, Gateway Pundit, thank you so much. Our good friend Jim Hoff po- posting up this article. Exclusive photos, armed man with rifle, handgun, 100 rounds of ammo, and body armor stopped and arrested by firefighter outside Springfield, Missouri, Walmart. Photos were taken by this individual right here at Bradley Cooper, M.O., citizen journalist. He tweets out, El Paso, Dayton, tonight in my hometown, an armed man was arrested wearing bulletproof vest outside of Walmart. It's time for action. Not banning guns, not passing red flag laws, but working on mental health. Something must be done. In the state of California, you are no longer allowed to call mental health services and report somebody in a situation where you want to admit a family member, admit a friend uh, for mental instability. Doesn't doesn't matter how schizophrenic they are, doesn't matter how crazy they are, they must commit a violent act before they will be forced into mental health help. That that right there is just absolute insanity. That's that's asking for a problem. Uh, I, I was uh, a, a privy to a situation out in uh, California where the kid really did need some mental health, schizophrenic th- th- voices in his head, thinking people were talking to him, real crazed individual. Family members could not get him in- admitted to the hospital. Hospital said you've got to report him as soon as he commits a violent act. This is the problem in our country today. This is the the, the insanity of the leftist uh the dividing dividing the country skin color dividing the country insanity insanity just all about division they want division that's all they want because it's easier to conquer the people once you have them divided and i contend that this copycat kid that went to the walmart uh looking for his 15 minutes of fame kind of reminds me of uh the the uh, uh getaway cars out in los angeles the, the chase scenes uh, and I'm not talking about Hollywood. I'm talking about real life uh, police chases out in Hollywood. When I lived out in Los Angeles, it seemed like they were. It was so frequent that every time one happened, it reminded me that I needed to get a haircut. I'm dead serious. That's how often they would happen. Uh, people would drive through their neighborhood because they know they were on the six o'clock news. Their friends, the live footage. Their friends had run out to the you know to the street, giving them high fives and giving them props for. For attempting to get away from the cops. Guys, we've got a situation here, a culture that absolutely needs to be changed. This has to stop. Uh, and we've got to expose the crazy nonsense that's out there through mainstream media and get the real news out. And this, I think, is also triggering some of these kids, uh, not only <laughs> the CNN and CNN News and uh, triggering people. You remember the shooter that went to go shoot uh, all the Republicans that he could possibly find at the baseball game, uh, wounding Scalise, which we find out Scalise was the only one that had detail, meaning a, a armed security guard. Uh, if Scalise was not there, there would have been a bloodbath, guys. And, and the fact that Scalise was shot, Wounded, he was bleeding out. There was a representative uh, there in Congress that was a doctor that actually helped to save Scalise's life. Guys, this is serious. We've got to talk about what's causing this. I believe not only the violent, awful uh, uh, games where you're first-person shooter and uh, picking up prostitutes and driving uh, cars and getting away from the cops. Uh, we got to stop this nonsense change this uh this this culture that we're living in but also change it from news perspective at la tiffany with an i1 our good friend someone to follow nicole wallace suggests choking sarah sanders don lemon says biggest terror threat is a white man although his gay boyfriend is white chris cuomo supports domestic terrorist group antifa CNN blackmailed a 15-year-old for creating a Trump CNN wrestling gif, yet MSM insists they aren't the enemies of the people. And this at Mel underscore Faith One, another great patriot to follow. This is the unhinged feminist YouTuber Jenny McDermott says uh, the only way to stop men from subjugating her, kill them all at birth. We need to kill all men. How can anyone 
take this person seriously. Hashtag liberalism is a mental disorder. Um, just kill any man that you see, like in the streets, like any swinging dick, just kill him. Because um, we want the species to go on, but we want it only to go on with women in it. So that's what we have to do. That's the only way to keep the human rights. Whew, this one, I, 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 you know, I've got a lot of things to say about this woman. And it's very frustrating that there are people out there with a platform and a following like, like that she has on YouTube. Uh, this is really, really sad. Feminism is a mental disorder uh, when you believe it. And, and I talked to a woman a conservative Trump supporting woman who claimed to be a feminist. And I said, Whoa, whoa, you're not no feminist. Well, yes, I am, Brian. I'm strong. I'm a single mom. I, I get it done. I make everything happen. I'm saying, I know you do. I know you do. And I commend you for it because I'm not a single dad and my, and my wife, I'm not a single mom. So I, I don't know. I can only imagine how hard it is. It's hard being married and being a parent to begin with, but to be single and do it, you are a superwoman. You're not a feminist. You're a strong super woman. Without a doubt, you're not a feminist. So to those of you women out there who think that feminism means that, that, that you're strong and independent and, and all this and all that, no, 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 no. That's being a super woman. That's who you are, super woman, going out there making it done. This is a true-blown, full-blown feminist that has a mental disorder. Think about it, guys. A woman that says that the only way to carry on the human race is to kill all men. Ki Somebody inform her it takes a man to have a baby. If you don't have... Okay, that's the obvious. Flat out. Uh, the second part of this, and I, um, it's not funny, and, and I'm going to just... I don't know this woman whatsoever. I've never seen her before. I don't know anything about her. But I'm going to assume a couple of things, Okay. And I'm going to make a little bit of a judgment call on this individual. And I feel bad for her because she needs to seek help. Stop being a victim. She clearly is a victim. And, and she's subjugating herself by by saying that she's sick and tired of being a baby factory. Uh, you got control over that. Don't you think? Yeah, you're giving us men all the control. You just now told me that men have complete and utter control over you and your life. That's your fault. As women, you have total control over men. And I'm going to explain this to you, and I explain this to my daughters all the time. Women, girls, you're the one that says yes or no. If you say no, it doesn't happen. Okay, you don't have to use your words. If you don't say no, then the answer is yes. I'm giving you a heads up. Guys are programmed. I mean, there's good guys out there and bad guys out there. I'm talking about the good guys out there. The ones that you you find and you you want to marry and you, they learn and they grow as men to be, as boys, to become men. And uh, the, the respect for women and the control of themselves. That's the guys I'm talking about. We are hardwired and pre-programmed. At birth, that, that when we become older, that that is what we want. We want babies. We want women. We want this. And when we get married, we love that. That's what we want. And we spend our lives, uh, our entire life, taking care of our wife and our children. Uh, we spend our lives uh, making money and earning money and getting a better job and a better life and creating this entire world around us because of our women, because of our wives and our children. We love you girls. Love you to death. We'll do whatever it takes to make you happy because seeing you happy is the greatest thing in the world us men uh, can experience. To seeing our children happy uh, whether they're girls or boys, doesn't matter. But to see our children happy, to see our wives happy, I I'm telling you from a man, it is the greatest experience of my life to uh, and the satisfaction of knowing that a good hard day's work is enough to pay the bills and, and buy a house and buy stuff that my wife wants and, and go on trips and vacations and uh, wife wants an RV, we get an RV. Wife wants a boat, we get a boat. <laughs> wife wants a new car, we get it. You guys know how it is. This woman right here, 
not playing games. I'm not being funny. Not playing games. This woman right here is a victim. And I'm going to assume she's been victimized most of her life. And she's been victimized by men. Possibly a rape survivor. I'm so that I'm going that far all in that this woman with this type of mentality, if she is absolutely dead serious, which I can only take her for a word, is probably the victim of a violent, maybe multiple, but at least one violent attack from a man. Or have seen men growing up in her life violently attacking women. She has never been around a man like me or like you that loves women and loves to take care of them. This is the Democrat Party. This is the feminist movement. This is what's destroying our boys and turning them into soy boys. Ca causing them uh, to do crazy things. We've got to stop this kind of nonsense. Something else we got to stop on the left as well is Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood tweeted out, We refuse to stand silently by while people are pulled from their communities, homes, and families simply because where they are from. We are prepared to stand alongside our partners to fight back against this hate and discrimination. This complaining about the ICE raids yesterday, which absolutely had to be done. Thank you, ICE. Our good friend at DI underscore Plura tweets out to Planned Parenthood, while you kill more babies in one week than mass shooters do in a year, then you profit by selling their organs and human stem cells. Sit down. You have nothing to say in this matter. Nothing. Couldn't agree with you more. 100% Planned Parenthood, the hypocrisy of, of, of caring for illegals or caring for for uh, uh, shoot, shooting victims or caring for, for people that are victims and have died. There's the hypocrisy of Planned Parenthood. Uh, this has to stop. Killing half of the black population. Literally, we now have a situation coming out of New York where out of all black women that become pregnant, more babies are aborted than born. It's like 51 to 52% are aborted. These girls are being indoctrinated in the Department of Miseducation and by the uh, uh, fake news media, CNN, MSNBC, and the, uh, the Democrat Party. Uh, I can't say enough about this. But anyways, as we also talk about propaganda, we also got to talk about the false flag that happened as well. I'm curious as to how this false flag works in and... I don't know exactly what truly is going on, if it was set up, if it was meant to be, but this is strange. It may be a situation where, and you've got law enforcement, I, I applaud all law enforcement, but you do have law enforcement that are liberal. There's no question about it. you got law enforcement that um, have become jaded, that have been in law enforcement for so long and they've seen it all and they're really hardened and jaded. I got a good friend that's about ready to retire as law enforcement and I can see it in him. I absolutely, I can see it in him. Uh, he's a great guy, awesome guy to be around. Just uh, don't talk about uh, law enforcement. Don't talk about the bad neighborhood. It just, you know, it's just not good. But this may be one of those situations where... Uh, you might have a really liberal law enforcement officer that has been propagandized. There's no question about it. I'm just assuming. I'm, I'm not passing judgment on anybody. But this is what transpired over the evening. And this at Matthew Keys Live breaking. Armed man driving Trump truck arrested outside migrant shelter in El Paso after immigration groups spotted him brandishing a knife. Police recovered a fully loaded gun in his truck, emblazoned with Donald Trump and Ted Cruz supporters' slogan. Here, uh, Ted Cruz on the back, lots of bumper stickers. The kid is wearing uh, uh, rubber surgical gloves, which is very interesting. I, I'm not sure what to make of that. And here he is with his hands over the back of the bed of the truck, being frisked and being arrested and taken into custody. And I want to thank Matthew Keys Live for the follow-up. This is very, very important, Pete, folks. Very important. This is the follow-up. El Paso police told TV station KVIA the 21-year-old man was detained, interviewed, and released after it was determined that no criminal offenses had been committed. Okay, so uh, immigration group claimed he brandished a knife. The article says nothing about the police 
finding a knife. So I, I, this is rough. This is rough. This is a real tough situation. Uh, apparently, if you're going to go near an area where there is law enforcement, there's going to be Antifa, there's going to be uh, protesting against uh, legal immigration, uh, don't go with a gun. Don't go with a gun, I know. Or, or if you say, I need a gun for protection, then just don't go in general. This is a situation where I think it was a, a complete mistake. It was fabricated by the protesters that he brandished a knife. The article says the police didn't find a knife. They found a gun. Nothing illegal about that, and the guy was let go. This situation happening at the same time the Walmart situation happening. However, we'll see how the media plays this out. And I, again, I, I can't thank uh, uh, Matthew enough for the follow-up on this individual being released uh, because you're not going to get that anywhere, guys. And as we see uh, the DNC mental insanity on full display, we've got uh, this at Coca underscore Bean 10, another great patriot to follow. Joe Biden, DNC, propaganda wing, CNN, MSNBC, etc. Video of seven times President Trump denouncing the KKK and other hate groups. Beginning to play. He doesn't deny them at a minimum. I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. When you say the party is self-destructing, what do you see as the biggest problem with the Reform Party right now? Well, you've got David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. So are you prepared right now to make a clear and unequivocal statement renouncing the support of all white supremacists? Of course I am. Of course I am. How times do I have to reject? I've rejected David Duke, rejected David Duke. Uh, I've rejected the uh, KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. About the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. Racism is evil, and those who cause violence in its name are criminals and thugs, including the KKK, neo-Nazis, white supremacists, and other hate groups that are repugnant to everything we hold dear as Americans. In one voice, our nation must condemn racism, bigotry, and white it's supremacy. Our great friend at Black Widow 1928, in her own words, Alveda King, niece of Dr. Martin Luther King, says, President Trump is not a racist. He is one of the best presidents America has ever had. I fully support him. A racist. President Trump is not a racist. I've had the experience of going head to head with genuine racists uh, back in the 20th century. I was a youth organizer at the time my uncle, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, was killed. My dad, A.D. King, killed the next year. And a racist is a person who really does believe that their race, their category of humanity is superior or different. And uh, they, uh, Beto, Biden, and all of them are saying, why doesn't he renounce or denounce the white supremacy, which he's done several times, they're not even being honest, saying he has it. One thing that really is getting to me, and I'd like for you to look into this, uh, the race baiters who want to stir up fear and hate and make us think that we're different when we're one blood and one human race. President Trump says we all believe the same. He's very clear on that. And he has done so much for all Americans, including African Americans. But they like the name George Wallace. Governor Wallace really was a racist, but at the end of his life, he recanted, he repented, he had great remorse, so no one ever says that he changed his mind, he had a change of heart, and began to receive all humans as brothers and sisters. So they want to use George Wallace, uh, which I was there when Governor Wallace was doing all of that, by the way. I was in a home that was bombed. So my uncle was shot, my daddy was choked and killed, my grandmother was shot, I was in a home that was bombed, we were bombed, I went through all of that. But President Trump is not a 2019, the new 1984 what the left wants africans americans to do is to ignore what is right in front of their faces this scam has been bought hook line and sinker for generations time the way you can't keep telling the people that it is racist to criticize the people whose policies created all this this is baltimore baltimore is over 60 percent black 
Baltimore's mayor is black. Baltimore's last mayor is black. The mayor before that was black. The elected officials were black. Baltimore has a poverty rate of over two times the state average of Maryland. Baltimore has trash in the streets. Baltimore has dilapidated homes. Baltimore has African-American citizens who don't feel safe. They feel like they can't be proud of where they live. But the left wants to tell you that to criticize that, that to criticize the African-American lawmakers on the left who have let this problem go on for decades and decades is racist. Holding black elected officials accountable is now racist. That is an absolute scam. That is an absolute myth. Criticizing the people that have allowed this to happen to this place, in this great state, in this great nation is not racist. What the left wants African Americans to do is to ignore what is right in front of our faces so that when they drop the race card and they say that criticism of something is racist, we are supposed to ignore everything that is going on around us and to be triggered emotionally by the word racist or by the thought of racism. You can't keep telling the people that it is racist to criticize the people whose policies created all this. The truth is right here. What are you gonna do about it? Absolutely, 100%, you saw that about Baltimore. Yeah, right. Uh, we've got black leaders on the left calling Baltimore uh, rats and scums and, and, and pathetic, all kinds of bad words. But but it's true. It's a fact. It has nothing to do with racism. The left has been put on display as being the racist. The left is being exposed, uh, whether it be Chicago, whether it be L.A., whether it be New York, whether it be Pick your city, St. Louis, whatever it is, pick your city that's run by Democrats and you've got major problems. Cincinnati's been run by Democrats. We got major problems here. We got budget problems. We got possible bankruptcy problems here in Cincinnati because of all the looting that uh, local mayor and council members, elected officials have been doing here in the city for decades, guys. Now, I uh, just want to kind of sh uh, showcase, and I I've been talking about Hollywood and the, the evils that Hollywood is, and this has come up overnight, and I just wanted to highlight this real quick. At THR Matthew Baloney, Universal is about to release a movie in which liberal elites hunt and gun down rural deplorables for sport, ESPN, pulled ads, and others might follow. This is going to be a box office flop. There's no question about it. This is going to pander to their own base. And this is very dangerous because it's movies like this that these these young boys, they're confused, transgender, transsexual, disordered individuals. You're transgender, transsexual, LGBTQ, whatever it is, there is a mental disorder in place. And if you do not seek help for that, uh, it can fester into all kinds of violent ways of uh, when you're listening to mainstream media, you're watching Hollywood and it's a nonsense, these awful movies like this, calling for the violence towards hunting down, not violence, but hunting down deplorables in rural America. Uh, you're calling for violence and you're going to get it. It's going to happen because you've got your base already triggered. Now, some good news to round things out so you guys can leave on a good note, I promise. We've always been complaining, why is CNN in every single airport in America? And out in L.A., it's almost in every single bank. What's going on? This, our good friend at DG Purser. Another blow for CNN as they're set to lose their airport monopoly. This is decades overdue. I was a frequent flyer in the 80s to all the way up to 08. Constant annoyance through those years with CNN and their constant, incessant lies. And this at the J.T. Lewis, Senators Kamala Harris and Sid Blumenthal inadvertently post a picture of me and President Real Donald Trump actually doing something to make schools safer, releasing the federal school safety report. I encourage everyone to look at more bipartisan solutions to violence. This is an epic fail on these elected uh, knuckleheads. They're posting... And commenting, vile comments. One, your back-to-school shopping list shouldn't have to include a bulletproof backpack. 
common sense gun reform needed. This is them on display, looking the fool. We are the party of getting things done. Donald Trump getting things done behind the scenes. I can't say it enough. All the judges that he will have in place by the end of the next couple of months, 178 judges across the country transforming America, transforming the Ninth Circus Court of Appeals, which has now voted for him in a couple of cases, which is just amazing. Didn't think that that could possibly ever happen. Uh, all kinds of court cases coming down the pipe, uh, Democrats losing these cases, and yes, Donald Trump can spend the money for the wall. More wall being built. Another report, uh, uh, 15 miles of wall built at 30 feet high. Uh, just more great things happening. We now need to implement. I'm telling you, Donald Trump, please, we need to implement E-Verify. E-Verify will self-deport. I lived in Southern California, and this is all they wanted to do was to come to America to make money and uh, and live out a great life. Send some back. Stay here. Do whatever. I understand, guys. Do it legally, not illegally. Do it legally. Uh, I say shut down immigration for a while till we can get assimilation into play. During the early 1900s, our country did do that for about 60 years. After the influx of immigrants in the, in the 1800s, we had to get a grip on this. And, and the assimilation had to happen. I think we need another assimilation period now. All right, guys, you're listening to New Right Network's original series, Smith TV. Your host, Brian Smith. Crush the share, crush the follow. If you enjoy this show, I encourage you. I highly encourage you. Jump down in the description below. Become a Patreon. whatever God has blessed you with. Much appreciated in order to keep this show going. Uh, And and down there in the description below is the uh, link for the full show notes. Clip that link, copy it, and send it to all your friends and family because that link for the show notes actually has this show embedded in uh, the show notes. It has the show embedded so that they can watch the show, follow the Patriots, check it out, and go along as we go through the show notes. So. Wow, guys, for Friday Freedom, enjoy your friends and your families this weekend. Here in Cincinnati, it's going to be a beautiful one. I'll be spending it with my wife and our 13th anniversary. Absolutely incredible. Been blessed by God for having uh, the wife that I have. Absolutely been blessed. And I pray that God has blessed you with your health and your life. Have a good night. I'll see you on Monday. You've been listening to New Right Network, mobilizing, countering, energizing, online at newrightnetwork.com.